Hello everyone. Time for another video. Thought I'd just uh, do a bit of a random walk around some of these cars you've seen. We have some new ones. This is a really interesting car. <coughs> You'll have to excuse me. I'm just getting over a bit of a cold, not COVID. This is a 1995 Mulliner Park Ward limousine. Very attractive car. And done in that better format whereby the length is behind the door. You may have seen there's several others where they put the extension in the center. Now remember, this is a let's call it factory stretch. This is not a car that's been sent to some American stretcher, so to speak. This is a Mulliner stretch. So what you've got is not just the length, but they've actually increased the length of the, or the height of the glass by about this much. And then what makes the car finish so well is the fact that they have this higher roof and curved roof line. The biggest problem you have with normal, or let's call it typical stretches that are done aftermarket is they stretch the length of the car, don't change the roof line, and you get this sort of, it almost looks like the roof is sagging in the middle like a horse with a broken back, so to speak. So this is an extremely elegant car, done masterfully well. Got the uh, smaller back window, of course. Sorry, I'm sure you're all dying to see inside, so I've got the power off, but let's give you a bit of an idea. So you've got straight door, doesn't go around the wheel arch. Just adjust this a little bit. There we go. Then you have the uh, division, which is both glass and a leather privacy divider. And then uh, what you might call the traditional seat left in the traditional position. One thing that's actually quite nice in this car here is that someone, this car would have originally had the uh, the old style television tube, let's call it. And it has been replaced by someone using a the iPad, let's call it a flat screen and done very well. They had to uh, fill in the leather here and that's been done exquisitely. And we only know it's been updated because of course they didn't have these flat screens back then. So everything's been done very well. This is a little naff. I mean, the craftsmanship's good, but what they did, they made this thing to support a phone. Um, this, I believe, will be removed. Um, so some beautiful inlay work here. This is Benny, who's come in to say hello. Um, these open up. Sorry, I need the power on. I don't have the power on. It's got a button here that releases. Um, these open and there are, there are cocktail glasses and uh, decanters. This side is a, uh, is a, is a dicky seat, so to speak. Um, unusual to have a sunroof in the back. Uh, well, unusual, not a common fitment. So that looks quite nice. And, uh, Sorry about the lighting here, but these are all the switches for the various controls. So we're talking uh, division, even the electric windows use the switch, um, seat adjustments, heaters, nice little compartment in here. Sorry. And we 
beautiful uh, Asprey clock, which was a regular fitment in these Mulliner limousines. Woodwork on this car is quite superb. Overall, the condition is very lovely. Look at these little finishes. These, of course, are the inside there. Someone's put, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh, I can't think, you know, uh, deodorizing pellets. Or, no, that's not the right word, but whatever. Um, but you may recognize these. These are like the type that were used in the uh, early core niches. And also the right-hand drive shadow twos. Um, nice little elegant touch there. The uh, Mullen Park Ward center discs. This car is in here to have some very light restoration work. First thing you'll have noticed, of course, is no white walls. I think uh, these cars definitely deserve those. These three pinstripes was was an option by the factory. I think it's a little overdone in my opinion, but these are actually original to this car. Okay, so for those of you who don't know me, Rod Sala, park-ward.com.